The universe is a vast and amazing place and it is home to some truly extreme objects. These objects are so extreme that they defy our imagination. They are so massive, so hot, or so powerful that they push the limits of our understanding of physics. In this video, we will take a closer look at some of the most extreme objects in space. Sloan Great Wall The Sloan Great Wall is a galaxy filament, a vast sheet of galaxies that is one of the largest structures in the observable universe. It is estimated to be about 1.4 billion light-years long and 200 million light-years wide, and it contains hundreds of millions of galaxies. The Sloan Great Wall was discovered in 2003 by a team of astronomers led by Michael Blanton at the Sloan Digital Sky Survey. The Sloan Great Wall is so large that it is difficult to see in its entirety. It is only visible when astronomers combine the light from many different galaxies. The Sloan Great Wall is thought to be formed by the gravitational pull of supermassive black holes at the center of galaxies. Quasars Quasars are extremely bright objects that are powered by supermassive black holes. They can be millions of times brighter than a galaxy and their light can travel billions of light years before reaching us. Quasars are thought to be formed when a large galaxy collides with a smaller galaxy. The collision causes the gas and dust in the galaxies to fall into the supermassive black hole at the center of the larger galaxy. The black hole then accretes the gas and dust, releasing vast amounts of energy in the process. Quasars are some of the most distant objects that we can see in the universe. The most distant quasar that has been observed is GN Z11, which is located 13.4 billion light years from Earth. This means that we are seeing GN Z11 as it was when the universe was only 3% of its current age. Gamma ray bursts. Gamma ray bursts are the most powerful explosions in the universe. They can release as much energy in a few seconds as the sun will emit in its entire lifetime. GRBs are thought to be caused by the collapse of massive stars or by the merger of two neutron stars. GRBs are so powerful that they can even produce afterglows that can be seen in visible light. The afterglows from GRBs can last for days or even weeks. GRBs have been observed in all parts of the sky and they are thought to occur about once every few hours. Pulsars Pulsars are rapidly rotating neutron stars that emit beams of radiation. They can be incredibly bright and their beams can sweep across Earth like a lighthouse. Pulsars are thought to be formed when a massive star collapses in on itself at the end of its life. The collapse creates a neutron star, which is a very dense star that is made up of neutrons. The neutron star rotates very quickly and it emits beams of radiation from its magnetic poles. The beams of radiation from pulsars can be very narrow and they can sweep across Earth every few seconds. This causes the pulsar to appear to blink and it is this blinking that gives pulsars their name. Pulsars are some of the most precisely timed objects in the universe. Their pulses can be used to measure time with great accuracy. Superassive black holes Superassive black holes are the largest black holes in the universe with masses that can be millions or even billions of times that of the sun. They are found at the centers of most galaxies and they are thought to play a role in galaxy formation and evolution. Superassive black holes are formed when large clouds of gas and dust collapse under their own gravity. The collapse creates a black hole, which is a region of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. Superassive black holes are thought to play a role in galaxy formation and evolution. The gravity of the black hole can help to keep a galaxy together, and it can also help to create new stars. Superassive black holes can also be very active, and they can emit jets of radiation that can travel billions of light years. Wolfreyat stars Wolfreyat stars are a type of very massive star that is nearing the end of its life. They are very hot and luminous, and they emit strong winds of gas. Wolfreyat stars can be up to 100 times more massive than the sun, and they can shine for millions of years. They are named after Charles Wolfe and George Rayet, who first identified them in the 1860s. Wolfreyat stars are characterized by their strong emission lines of helium and nitrogen. The emission lines are so strong because the stars' atmospheres are very enriched in these elements. Wolfreyat stars are thought to be formed when massive stars run out of fuel. The stars' cores collapse and the outer layers are blown off in a strong wind. The wind carries away the star's hydrogen, leaving behind a core that is enriched in helium and nitrogen. 
Wolf Rayet stars are very short-lived and they eventually explode as supernovae. The supernova explosion scatters the star's enriched material into the surrounding space where it can be recycled into new stars and planets. Magnetars Magnetars are a type of neutron star with extremely strong magnetic fields. The magnetic fields of magnetars can be billions of times stronger than the magnetic field of the Earth. Magnetars are thought to be formed when a neutron star is born with a very strong magnetic field. The term magnetar was coined in 1994 by astronomer Christopher Thompson and astrophysicist Robert Duncan. Thompson and Duncan proposed that magnetars were the source of a new type of astronomical transient called soft gamma repeaters. Soft gamma repeaters are short bursts of gamma rays that last for a few seconds or less. Magnetars are thought to be formed when a massive star collapses in on itself at the end of its life. The collapse creates a neutron star, which is a very dense star that is made up of neutrons. The neutron star rotates very quickly and it emits beams of radiation from its magnetic poles. The magnetic field of a magnetar is so strong that it can actually distort the star's shape. The magnetic field also causes the neutron star to emit strong bursts of radiation, including gamma rays, X-rays, and radio waves. Magnetars are very rare objects. There are only a few dozen known magnetars in the Milky Way galaxy. However, they are some of the most powerful objects in the universe. Luminous Infrared Galaxy Ultraluminous infrared galaxies are galaxies that emit more energy in the infrared than in all other wavelengths combined. This energy is thought to be produced by dust heated by star formation and black hole activity. Eulergs are some of the most active galaxies in the universe and they can be used to study the process of galaxy formation and evolution. Active Galactic Nuclei Active galactic nuclei are galaxies that have active superassive black holes at their centers. These black holes are accreting matter from their surroundings, which releases a tremendous amount of energy. Active galactic nuclei can be found in galaxies of all sizes, and they can be used to study the evolution of galaxies and black holes. Active galactic nuclei can have a significant impact on their host galaxies. The radiation from an AGN can heat the gas and dust in the galaxy, and this can trigger the formation of new stars. The jets from an AGN can also interact with the gas in the galaxy, and this can create new structures such as shock waves and cavities. Cosmic rays. Cosmic rays are high energy particles that move through space at nearly the speed of light. They originate from outside the solar system and can travel billions of light years before reaching Earth. The exact sources of cosmic rays are not fully understood, but they are thought to come from a variety of places such as supernovae and superassive black holes. Wormholes. There is no direct observational evidence for the existence of wormholes. However, there are a number of indirect observations that are consistent with the existence of wormholes. For example, some astronomers have observed objects that appear to be moving faster than the speed of light. This could be explained by the existence of wormholes. One of the most interesting things about wormholes is that they could potentially be used for time travel. If a wormhole connects two different points in time, then it would be possible to travel through the wormhole to reach the other point in time. Gravistars Gravistars are a relatively new theoretical concept, first proposed in 2002 by physicists Powell O. Mazur and Emil Motola. They are hypothesized to be a type of superassive object that consists of a central region of dark energy surrounded by a thin shell of matter and an exterior of vacuum. Gravistars are similar to black holes in many ways, but they differ in one key respect, they do not have an event horizon. This means that it is possible for matter and energy to escape from a gravistar while nothing can escape from a black hole. The formation of gravistars is not fully understood, but it is thought that they may form from the collapse of massive stars. When a massive star collapses at the end of its life, it forms a black hole. However, if the star is rotating rapidly enough, it is possible that the collapse may be halted before a black hole can form. Instead, the collapsing star may form a gravistar. The multiverse. The multiverse is a hypothetical collection of multiple universes. Each universe in the multiverse may have different laws of physics and different constants of nature. The multiverse is a very speculative concept, but it offers a possible explanation for some of the mysteries of the universe. 
Some physicists have argued that the existence of the multiverse is the only way to explain some of the strange phenomena that we observe in the universe, such as dark energy and dark matter. If the multiverse exists, then it has a number of profound implications for our understanding of the universe and our place in it. For example, the existence of the multiverse would mean that there are an infinite number of versions of ourselves out there, each living a different life. It would also mean that there are an infinite number of different universes, each with its own unique history and laws of physics. These extreme objects are a testament to the power and beauty of the universe. They remind us that there is still so much that we do not know about the cosmos.